Well, here's another example of, I've been studying rent and mortgage assistance programs for 40 years, and I still don't know what the requirements are. <laughs> yeah, because these assistance programs are supposed to go to people that are needy, right? Uh, and that's what I grew up with, and even in the business model. But here, here's one in Greensboro. Now, this is a city program. It's a rental and mortgage assistance to pay, you know, if you have trouble paying your mortgage or pe trouble paying your rent. There's national programs that are different, but see, every city in county has them too so you got to check everywhere now here's what greensboro uh has they're saying you could have an income of up to hundred and seventy three thousand dollars and still get fifteen thousand dollars to pay your rent or mortgage wow <laughs> i mean it's crazy that's why when you think oh i know these programs are for somebody else oh i know i make too much money for these programs oh i know it's full of paperwork well yeah probably have some paperwork <laughs> but who else is going to give you fifteen thousand dollars to get out of debt and never worry about it again <laughs> yeah that, that's amazing that's right this is greensboro the city of greensboro okay uh so if you're there you're lucky now but you have to do is find out what's like this where you live how do you do that it takes some phone work and that's the best way to get anything just get on that phone and start talking to people who should know this stuff who should know this stuff really <laughs> it's nonprofits and government offices. Everybody else in the business of wanting to know this stuff wants to sell you something. You want to get something, not give something. See, the people want to sell you something want to get your money. No, you want to get free money. You don't have money to pay your bills. Why the hell do you give some money to somebody else? Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, you go to these two websites. One is called 211.org. Now, you don't call 211, which you can and maybe get something out of that. But the best way is to use their database, put in the keyword rent, and then call everybody in there with rent. Because <laughs> these are all nonprofit organizations that are working on this problem, trying to solve it for people and things like that. So if they can't help you directly, they're the best to know who else can do that. You know, and who else? Now? Oh, yeah, Charlie, you know, who, who has a company like mine uh, could help you because they just got more money from the government to give up. See, that's the kind of stuff. And the other place is findhelp.org. So that's 211.org, findhelp.org. Search by housing, mortgage, rent, all three if you want <laughs> and start calling it's all about dialing for dollars that's where the money is talk to somebody tell them people want to help humans they don't want to help widgets and, and artificial intelligence <laughs> that's what we do at let'sgohelp.com <laughs>